this uh, video on unit circle trig puts the whole picture together. So we're going to figure out how to use these five numbers to get the cosine and sine of any angle that we commonly use, what I call the uh, nice angles around the circle. So starting with this one, this, this, this here is a 30 degree angle coterminal to pi over 6 and the point there on the unit circle is if we forget what it was oh yeah it's the long x which is the square root of 3 over 2 and oh yeah it's the 1 half and it's the 1 half the reason why it doesn't look exactly right at that one half is that I, I freehand drew these lines for these angles in. So that's the terminal point there. So that means that that is the cosine of pi over 6, sine pi over 6. Okay, so that's the way we're going to use this uh, drawing here. Oops. And right now, we go on and we figure out this one. This is a 45 degree angle, coterminal to pi over 4. The coordinates of that point, shown on a previous video, were square root of 2 over 2. Square root of 2 over 2. So that's the cosine, comma, the sine of the angle pi over 4. Okay, so, cosine pi over 4 equals square root of 2 over 2 and sine pi over 4 equals square root of 2 over 2. And we go on to this point. That's a 1 pi over 6, 2 pi over 6. It's 2 pi over 6, which is uh, let's do the degrees first. It's a 60 degree angle. Coterminal 2, it's really pi over 3. Because there's it's one third of the pi around. This is pi angle out here, halfway around the circle. And so that's pi over 3. The coordinates of that terminal point are okay, let's say you forgot what they were. You say what's the x? Oh yeah, it's one half. So it'd be one half. And then you'd have to know that one half corresponds up to square root of three over two. But even on the picture, you'd say, oh yeah, that's about the eight point eight eight six location. So square root of three over two. So the cosine of pi over three is one half. The sine of pi over three is square root of three over two. So now I'm just going to go around and write the terminal points here with the angles. Okay, so that is right there a, um, well, let's do this one first. This is 0, 1, and that's a, that's a 9 degree coterminal of pi over 2 angle. And the coordinates of that point are 0, comma 1. So the cosine is 0, and the sine is 1. Let's move over to this point here. We have that that is, so that's 3 pi over 6. 4 pi over 6, so that's 2 pi over 3. Coterminal to 30 degrees past 90, which is 120 degrees. The points there are, let's say you forgot what it was. 
you'd say, okay, I gotta go down here. Oh yeah, so the x is negative one half. So the cosine is negative a half. And you'd say, what's the y? Oh yeah, it's that 0.866 location. That's the square root of three over two, positive. So you let the picture guide you. Instead of just rotely memorizing the values, you let the picture guide. Uh, this location right here is 135 degrees, coterminal 2, let's see, pi over 4, 2 pi over 3 pi over 4. And what's the coordinates of the point there? Well, that's that pi over 4 type of location. So it's going to be negative square root of 2 over 2 because we're on the negative x side and square root of 2 over 2 is we're on the positive y part. That's that. Over this one right here, that is, let's see, 1, 2, 3 pi over 6, four pi, 5 pi over 6. Okay, and it is 30 degrees shy of 180, so it's a 150 degrees. Code terminal to 5 pi over 6. And the coordinates of that point are, let's say you forgot which it is, you'd say, okay, gotta draw the quick picture. Oh yeah, it's the long x side, so that's negative square root of 3 over 2, comma, and the y. Oh yeah, right there, 1 half. So the picture guides you. So the cosine of 150 degrees is square root of 3 over 2, negative square root of 3 over 2, and the sine of 150 degrees is 1 half. Going to this angle here, the straight angle at pi, which is 180 degrees, coterminal of pi radians, the coordinates of that point are negative 1, 0. So the cosine of 180 is negative 1, and the sine of 180 is 0. Moving on, you have pi over 6 past that. So that was 6 pi over 6, 7 pi over 6, 7 pi over 6, coterminal 2, 30 degrees past 180, which is 210. And the coordinates of this point are, okay, let's say you forgot. You go up there, and you say, oh yeah, it's the long x, and it's negative, so it's negative square root of 3 over 2. And what's the y? Oh yeah, negative 1 half. And that's what you do. So the cosine of 7 pi over 6 is negative square root of 3 over 2. And the sine of 7 pi over 6 is negative 1 half. Then we move on to this pi over 4 type of location. Okay, so that's four pi over, 5 pi over 4. Co-terminal to 45 degrees past 180, which is 225 degrees. And the coordinates of that point are negative square root of 2 or 2, negative square root of 2 or 2. The picture tells you. So the cosine of 5 pi over 4 is negative square root of 2 over 2. And the sine of 5 pi over 4 radians is negative square root of 2 over 2. Move on to this point. That point is going to be 30 degrees shy of 270. So that's a 240 degree angle. Co-terminal 2. It's, it's a 6 type. So it's 6x six, six pi, 7, 8. So it's 8 pi over 6, which is 4 pi over 3. And the point there is, well, the x coordinate looks like it's negative 1 half. And the y is the long square, negative square root of 3 over 2. So the cosine of 240, or 4 pi over 3, is negative one half. The sine of 240 is negative square root of 3 over 2. Go down to this point. 
Well, according to that point, I just read right off the graph, 0, negative 1. So the cosine of, and that is a 270 degree angle, coterminal to pi over 2, divided 3 pi over 2, 3 pi over 2 radians. So the cosine of 3 pi over 2 is 0, and the sine of 3 pi over 2 is negative 1. Keep going. This point here is 30 degrees past, that's a 300 degree angle. Coterminal 2, 4 pi over 3, 5 pi over 3. 5 pi over 3. And the coordinates of that point are, well, it's a little tricky on the picture, but because it doesn't, it's not quite, uh, didn't quite draw it in the right point there, but it's one half comma negative square root of 3 over 2. That's the cosine and the sine. Moving over to this point, that's going to be 45 degrees past 270. 45 degrees past 270 is 315 degrees coterminal to 7 pi over 4. And the coordinates of that point are um, square root of 2 over 2, negative square root of 2 over 2. That's the cosine and the sine. And then we're almost home. We're 30 degrees past the 360. So that is 330 degrees. Coterminal to 11 pi over 6, almost to 12 pi over 6. And the coordinates of that point are it's the long cosine and the negative one half sine. And then the lastly, at zero degrees, coterminal of the zero radians, the point is one comma zero. So the cosine of zero degrees is one, and the sine of zero degrees is zero. So now use now you know how to use these five numbers with the pluses and minuses, the way the picture shows and what quadrant you're in, in order to get the cosine and sine values for any of the nice angles of 30, 60, 90, 180, 270, 45, any kind of the 45 degree situations and any angles coterminal to any of those.